Hello, hello. So, uh, I did the tutorial already for um, the hearts and ornaments and the, which I'm calling the junk rag bow. <laughs> she just put a bunch of stuff in it. It's really a rag bow with just, and it's not as full as a full rag bow, but it's not done yet. I know you thought it was done, but I needed the wreath to be made to finish it. So I'm gonna start it, and I'm not sure if I'll finish this, but if I don't, I'll just resume in the morning. But we're gonna start, and I'm using this 21 inch mesh for poof, for poofs. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. So we're just gonna go all the way around it and do poofs, like 10 inch poofs. Some of you girls say puffs, 10 inch puffs. <laughs> I think that's so funny. <laughs> And hmm. yeah, I was gonna do pull fruffle and rolls, and I don't know. And then I changed it to just doing poofs and cruffles, but we'll see. I'm just trimming that, it had a lot of fray on it. It's so hot in here. It was cold and then I was in here earlier. So I turned on the fireplace and when I left, I thought I turned it off and it wasn't off. So when I came back in, whew, like it's, it's about to give me a hot flash. It's so warm in here. Uh, yeah, so I was in here doing a few things and I was watching uh, Chris Lee knows, knows best with Todd Chris Lee and his family. I don't know. I know Kara knows who they are. She just loves him. Um, he's hysterical, though. That whole family is hysterical. <laughs> and then I thought, well, if you're going to be in here, why not start the wreath? Because I want to get it up and listed. Because people are buying Valentine's right now. I, I actually think I'm dripping. Holy cow. Whew. Wow. <laughs> I might have to open the door. You want to also make sure when you're doing poofs that you leave the sides of your mesh so they're on the sides. So as you're gathering it, just make sure that your sides are on the sides. I mean, if it goes under, it's not like you destroyed your wreath. It's just easier to poof, um, you know, to spread your poofs out when they're on the side. Otherwise, you gotta fight with it. So, to make it easier for you, just do that. Now, this mesh is a lot thinner. So, normally I, when I do the transition, I would just jump right up to the top. But I'm gonna, um, on thinner mesh, I do zip tie it because when I trans transition up here, it's just going to keep falling down unless I zip tie it and I want it to stay up there. So I'm just going to grab my mesh. I'm going to pull it right in front of this tie. Just like that. I'm not using the tie. I'm using a zip tie around the frame to hold it right there. Here we go. I close that off. You know, I think it's the wrong one. I'm just gonna shut the whole thing out. <sighs> okay, now I'm just opening up the ties where it's zip tied down and I'm just gonna go right through that. That way when we come back around, we'll end it right there. So let's open these up. This wreath is gonna be so pretty. I hope in my brain it is. <laughs> um, 
Again, you guys, I create as I go. I haven't made this yet. So, but I'm like, oh my God, I might want to keep it. But I can always make another one. I might not have all the same ribbon though. Then I was even thinking, ooh, this would be a pretty kit. <laughs> you know, that would be an expensive kit, but that really would be. I'd have to make all the stuff though. That would take me forever. I gotta get my helper Lisa back over here. But she's in quarantine, which is such bad timing. Because uh, her daughter tested positive. She, her daughter doesn't live at home, but her husband was there uh, for dinner when Lisa was here helping me at the house. So, but her daughter isn't doesn't have any symptoms. So maybe it was a false positive. I don't know. So I'm still debating if I want to oblong this reform or if I want to leave it round. Hmm. I think I'm going to leave it round. Okay, so we went all the way around. And I'm just going to cut this mesh. Just cut it and leave about an inch two inches and if you want you can tuck it under um, or zip tie it down it's not necessary though it's not you're not going to see it don't be your zip ties or pipe cleaners okay so before I get everything in there I am going to do a crossbar and I'm just going to grab two pipe cleaners and twist them together. And right uh, where the crossbars are, I'm going to tuck it under around this um, crossbar right here. Then I'm going to tuck it under the frame and then twist it around my pipe cleaner. Or you can just keep twisting it around the frame. It's totally up to you. Okay, here's where you're going to get tension. You really want to make sure it's tight so when you attach things to that crossbar, it's not loose. So I went around the crossbar, underneath the frame, and now I'm going to wrap it around the pipe cleaner. And there we got a crossbar. So now we're going to add some 10 inch mesh. If I can get it all here. I think this is all of it. And we're going to do the black, the natural, burlap, and foil. These are foiled, and this one is just natural. Um, and I cut these 20 inches long. And I was going to do poof, ruffle, and rolls, but I think I'm just going to do poof and cruffles. So I cut down seven of each because we're going to need three of them for the crossbar. Um, so seven of each, 20 inches long. And we're just going to put these in. Let's start with black. So I'm going to take the natural side that rolls up at me like that. And I'm just going to start tuck in in each end and then scrunch okay and that's your cruffle your woodland ruffle you can either go sideways with it or go up and down i just put it in <laughs> so i'm going to do black natural red black natural red 
So again, you're just curling each end like rolls and then scrunching. Let's do red. Mm. I really, really want a cup of coffee, <laughs> but it's nine o'clock at night and then I'll be all jittery and but I'm, I'm craving a cup of coffee right now. <laughs> so bad. Like I would actually just reheat the pot from this morning. <laughs> I want coffee. So we're just gonna alternate. Um, we're just gonna keep doing black, natural, and then red, black, natural, red, black, natural, red, all the way around. Excuse me. Oh, God, I've got so much stuff to do. And I just really am feeling so lazy lately. I'm so lazy. Like, I don't want to finish the stairs. I just want to lay on the couch and watch TV all day. Uh, red. That's it. That's all I want to do. It's like, yep, winter's kicking in. <laughs> Keep losing red, black. <laughs> no, it was black, natural red, black, natural red. Okay. I like that that's a little longer. It's not bothering me. <laughs> gonna leave it like, ooh, this would be pretty on my door. <laughs> I keep losing. Oh, okay. I keep thinking I skip because you can't. It blends in. So we did red, black, but I have black there. So I'm just going to throw another natural right there. Okay. And then we're just going to do the same thing up on the top. And I am putting this right where there's a black down below it. When we go around, eventually it won't be like that, but it's fine. Do, do, do. Black, nat, 
natural red. I keep saying that to myself. Black natural red. Black natural red. Did I skip a tie? I did. I didn't see it. That one's really close. I hate when they do that. It's like right on top of that. <laughs> I don't like that. Okay, let's do red. There we go. I'm so tired right now, but I really want to do this right. I should have did it earlier. But I was packing stuff, orders up. Red, black. Um, so, just trying to stay ahead so I don't fall behind because my husband's home tomorrow. So we got to run to the store and get uh, the stair color because I was going to do it one way and now I'm doing it a different way. Um, so I got to go get a different color. And I want to run and get more fabric for my fabric balls that I want to make. And another rag bow. <laughs> now I'm going to be obsessed with the matching rag bow and balls. Because <laughs> I know how to make them. Thank you, Jenny, for asking me to do that. So I wouldn't have made them. But Jenny asked me to, so I did. All right. So we got all the mesh in. And, oh, no, we don't. Well, I don't know why I threw that over there. I forgot to do the crossbar. Okay, so... We did ruffles all the way around, but when I do ruffle, I always do ruffles where the crossbar is because I just think like these are rolls and they pop up and it sometimes it stops things from laying the way you want where a ruffle is more like spread evenly um, and things lay better on top of it. So I always do do ruffles um, where the crossbar is. So we're just gonna do some ruffles. Yep, even my pipe cleaner's got a match. <laughs> Not that you're going to see them, but y'all know I'm very matchy. <laughs> I used to always match my socks to my shirts, and then one day I looked in the mirror, and I was like, that looks stupid. <laughs> I did that for decades, um, even pajamas. Um, so, but now my whatever color pants I'm wearing have to match my socks. It blends my big foot in better than the, you know, if I had a bright yellow shirt on with bright yellow socks. Because <laughs> I got very skinny legs and big feet. Well, I think I got big feet. All right. I still want coffee. I might just run in there and see if there's any in the pot. I, I don't ever crave coffee this late. Okay, red, and I'm gonna do the natural. No, I'm just gonna do red there. It's not really gonna matter. You're not gonna see it. Oh, when I do do the ruffles though, it's not the natural side that's rolled up. You could do it that way, but I always have it the opposite way when I do ruffles. I don't think I've ever tried to roll it the other way. Let's try that. Hmm. Things that make you go, hmm. All right, so we got all that in there. So now we can do our ribbon and the ribbon, the ribbon. <laughs> okay, so the ribbon I'm using is these are both velvet, black and red. I'm using a 2.5 and a 1.5. And I got those both at Craft Outlet. Now, 
I did originally, and then we're using the um, leopard print with the natural two and a half inch. And I did have, I was gonna do it like that, but I really think this is more dramatic and more of a pop with that red on top of the black, so I switched it. But you can do it like this, or you know, whatever way you wanna put your ribbons in, it's totally up to you. But these are 12 inches long. And there's, it's the thing with velvet, every little lint and clingy thing, you really wanna make them pretty. <laughs> All right, these are 12 inches long, and then you're just dovetailing. I always dovetail all my ribbons. It just looks more professional. You look like you're a pro. Um, so fold it in half, and then you just cut with your scissors at an angle, just like that. And then you got a V. So these are, again, 12 inches. I'm just gonna pinch it, and we're gonna do these all the way around the wreath. Um, and we're just gonna alternate every other tie. So these ones will go every other tie and then those will go every other tie. And I always pull all my ribbons out towards me. You guys, your ribbons are the most important thing in a photo, um, especially if you're selling these. You really wanna make sure in your photos that you're pulling all your ribbons in there. They're not wrinkled and squished and they're all facing the right way. It just really sells the wreath. And lighting, lighting. I always use outside natural light. If the sun is on my door, I will not take a picture of the wreath. I will wait till nighttime when it gets dusk. Um, because the natural, just the natural light without the sun on the door, it makes the, the true colors of the wreath. And I don't enhance my photos or, you know, I want them to look just like they do in the pictures. I feel like hair up in late night crafting. Last night I was in here till midnight playing with those hearts and getting all the templates and stuff cut out. Um, and I actually called Kara at I think midnight and she was sleeping. <laughs> I was shocked. <laughs> I almost called her Christina, but I didn't. <laughs> I already can hear her in her brain. Uh, love you. Uh. All right. Oh, my mouth is dry. Okay. Oh. Um. La wreath. La wreath. Um, I, I bought a bunny from her last year. And, um. She's not selling the bunnies. She's selling the digital download for you to make the bunny. So I went to Joanne's and got all the stuff to do it. So I will be doing that bunny. Um, I love that bunny. That was one of my favorite bunnies in the loft that has it. Yay. It's on her fireplace. Um, but I love, love, love that bunny. I love that bunny even more than knock your socks off bunnies. I just, and I love her bunnies. I'm just saying that that bunny was my favorite bunny. And I went to go to her shop to buy a couple of them. And I was like, oh, come on. I don't want to make it. I'd rather just buy it. Ugh. And then you got to sew. Like, I have a sewing machine. I got, what, last year? Which I'm dying to use. I, sh I, I could teach myself if I really wanted to. I really could. Because you can learn anything on YouTube. You can learn anything. Trust me. Anything I'm teaching you, you can learn somewhere else <laughs> for free. <laughs> you know, I feel a lot of times I show you stuff that I find, so. Um, but 
I'm gonna, uh, I was gonna work on that today. Just, uh, tomorrow I wanna get that, the steps painted. But I'll be working on it probably this weekend because um, I'm doing Saturday's tutorial right now. So on my head. <laughs> For those that are new, sometimes I might be a day late and I apologize. I'm just redoing my whole house and I'm old and I don't have a lot of energy. <laughs> I think I have the energy I used to and then I discover I don't. It's like, nope, I do something for a day. Like I usually work on the stairs for about six, seven hours. Nope, seven, eight hours. And then I need like a whole day off because <laughs> my knees and elbows and thumb, like this bone just popped out. <laughs> the doctor said it's probably arthritis. And I never noticed it before until I started doing the sanding and when I was the second day of sanding is when I was like, oh my God, that looks like a bunion on my thumb. Because <laughs> I have a bunion too. <laughs> but the doctor said you don't get bunions on your thumbs. <laughs> oh, I'm just tired. But I can't wait to do that bunion. Cannot wait. Now, she uses the straight foam fabric um, for the hat. I don't, I got the foam but I don't ever see the striped foam. Oh, you know who might have it? Claudia's decor. That's who's probably got it. I'm just gonna use a different kind though. So mine might be a little different than um, the way she does it, but you can do any pad, any colors you want. So again, um, I will be doing that in the group as soon as I make it. It's a uh, Easter bunny. Um, so if you want to get ahead of the game, <laughs> get all your supplies to go make it, you can buy the digital download for $20, I believe, um, on Etsy at La Wreath. L-E Wreath. La Wreath. Lee, Lee Wreath. All right, so we're up at the top now, and we're just going to do the same thing all the way around. I watched the um, video, so it doesn't, I think I can handle it. It doesn't look too complicated. Then I went and bought a needle and yarn. Do you guys know I have a big, huge sewing kit downstairs I forgot all about? My mom got it at Brown sale for $5. It's got like all kinds of threads and needles and like things, I don't even know what they are. I might just go visit my Aunt BJ with my sewing machine. Because there are things, I bought that sewing machine so I could do certain embellishments. And that was a year ago. <laughs> I might procrastinate, but I do eventually get to it. gonna be so pretty. might only do one right here because look how close these are they're just the ribbons are going to be right on top of each other and I'm going to not like that so I'm going to do and I'll just put the rag bowl right there so you won't even notice it honestly it, you probably don't even have to put a ribbon right there because the rag bowl is going to be there but I already cut them so I might as well put them in there
sorry. Let's see. Oh, you guys, I'll be doing this soon too. Oh, I just gotta show you because it's so pretty. I'll be doing that soon too. Oh, I know I wasn't gonna do Valentine's, but I'm, I'm seeming to love Valentine's. Valentine, Valentine's, I said. Okay, focus, what do we need? All right, so let me bring down the hearts. Uh, and the balls. Uh, so I really did want to do this with four inch balls, but I only had two inch. And again, I ran out of red. So tomorrow I'm gonna go to the store and I'm gonna get four inch balls. Um, Cause I wanna start doing some four inch ones. Um, that I probably will add to this because I only have two and I, I would like more of these in there. But I also brought these up that I tell you girls all the time to get at um, Hobby Lobby, the little garland ball here. They didn't have red this year. I didn't see red, but I got the natural and I usually buy a bunch of them. But again, there was no nothing after Christmas. So I only have this, but I, I buy these and save them for um, summer for bee trees. So those little balls look perfect in bee trees. All right, so I'm not gonna oblong this. I'm gonna leave it in the circle. And let's get the hearts in the bow. And then ribbon. Because we are not done with the bow. Where's this little hearts? And I did want another black heart in here because I only have one of those, but I hadn't made that yet either. So we'll see. I might still make it to add it in there. If I don't need to, I won't. This I already cut down, so I'm going to add that in there somewhere. All right. So again, I create as I go, so I, I'm going to figure out how I want this. So I'm going to just start placing things. I know I want the bow down here. I love those little lips. That pin is so cool. And actually, I think I'm just gonna wrap it around now, the frame. So I'm giving it tension, but I'm not, I'm not give, pulling it so tight that it's gonna sink down into this um, mesh. Just enough to give it a little tension and then start wrapping your wire. And I like to wrap it three to four times. Oh my God, I forgot. Well, I knew I was doing something else. I'm gonna show you those too. All right. I love that bow. Um, you guys, I got these at the Dollar Tree also for a dollar and they got the little hook thing there. And you could attach this to some trim or a wire or twine, and you can have these hanging in the bow also. And I think I'll have them hanging around the wreath. I don't know yet, I think they're cute. Um, but you could have, oh look, they open up and there's stuff in there. Oh, it's already got the little ties. <laughs> How cute is that? Okay, we might wanna glue that shut, but I'm gonna wire these anyway, I think. But that would look cute, just dangling down. Oh my God, how cute. And if you wanted, you could also paint over this and glitter them to death. You could do that too. I, I was gonna do one and see how I liked it, but I kind of like that they're see-through. But you know, there's, there's endless possibilities. <laughs> All right, so I got the bow on. Now again, we're not done with the bow, but I just wanna see how I wanna place the hearts. So this is the biggest heart. And I just did this one with the attachment because I didn't think about it. It took me to do, what, six hearts before I figured it out. <laughs> Maybe you should put a thing back there for it to hold on. But these are super light, so you can just glue it. But I really wish I would have did that. Now I'm gonna put this one up at the top, kind of off to the left a little. And I'm just, again, not sure if it's staying there. I'm gonna stagger this one down. Maybe tip it a different way so it's touching it. Now I feel like they're going the same way, like that. Then let's get, see, I should have did a medium black one. Hmm. Huh. How 
quite a fair fan down like that. Touching the black. Red. Ooh, that's cute. <laughs> oh, we got the balls. See, I wish I had bigger balls. <laughs> All right, get your mind out of the gutter, people. All right, let's do a ball. I, I really don't, I'm, I'm going to get um, another ball. I'm going to put one right over here. Actually, that's not going to go there right now. We'll do the balls after because I want to add to the wreath. The bow. So, again, you guys, I bought all this DC Stevens ribbon at a closet sale. They emailed me and said they were having a closet sale. And it was right after I signed up for them. Because um, I didn't, was never with D. Stevens. And, you know, I seen some of the ribbons. So I went and signed up. And they emailed me saying they were having a closet sale. And that's like, they had a lot of cheap ribbon. I mean, this was not that much. I, I don't remember, but I know it wasn't that much. But I bought it at Christmas and I haven't used it. So I want to put it in here. So to add to the width of this bow, I'm going to do just a loop right in here with some tails shooting out right on each side. Okay. And I'm just going to look to see how long I want these because I do want the tails to hang longer than what's in the wreath. Go just a little bit and we'll do about a five inch loop. Yeah, so I'm gonna cut it right here. I mean, I'm sure it wasn't super cheap, but honestly, I don't remember. I just know I liked it and I love the jeweled ribbons. They're so thick. So this piece right here, and if you guys don't have this, you know, look at Trends and Gems. Um, she sells a lot of it. Uh, M&B Creations um, can probably get you ribbon. She's got jeweled ribbons. Um, you know, you can just add another color in. Like this sequins, D. Stevens. You know, I don't know if any of this stuff is in stock still. Uh, this is 34 inches long. Okay, this one piece. So we're going to do two of them at 34 inches long. I just really wanted to do like a... Pow! <laughs> wreath. I was going to say ba-bam, but we don't want to say ba-bam. <laughs> Bam! Okay. It all started with those, those hearts that I seen. I was like, oh, I'm going to use that as a template. It's going to be awesome. All right, so I'm just going to open up my... Put that in there. I'm going to twist that one ribbon back because I forgot to twist it. Otherwise, it's facing the wrong way. Shoot. Okay, twist that in there. This ribbon is so thick. It's hard to manipulate here. Hold on. In there. Pull that down. That loop might be a little too big. Let me make it smaller. It's too big. Let's do a four inch. I'm gonna pinch this. Let me twist that back one. Oh, it's so thick. Jesus. Stay. All right, never mind. I'll just twist it in there. Get it in first. So we got that over there, and I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I feel like that one's up higher though. Where is it? 
Is that on a top or a bottom? It's on a top. Oh, I did it on the top. So we just kind of made the tails even longer. And I want to add in, let's do, I don't want to do that one. Let's do, so we got the jewel. I think I'm just going to do this one with that jewel. So I'm gonna cut this at 28 inches. And again, this is a D. Stevens one inch. I got this from Babam um, when she was selling it in her shop. I caught it in time down Facebook wall. <laughs> Cause that stuff, you know, that one inch, I love one inch, love it. It's my favorite. So I'm doing another little loop with the tails. I thought that loop was too big, but now I'm thinking it was too small. Do the same thing on the other side. And I don't know why I'm just not adding everything at once because I'm going to add some of the embellishment stuff in there also. <laughs> We're going to just put it in one at a time. And let me just twist this back. Also add in, we're just filling that bowl right up. Where is it? All right, so I'm gonna add some of this jewels also on the side. We'll probably pin some out up um, in other areas. So let's just do, oh God, do I have enough left? Cheryl, no. <laughs> Send me the link. Um, I, know, I think you got this on Amazon, but I'm not positive. I'm gonna do this one at 20 inches also. We need two of them. And I'm going to do the little black sequins that we also put in. I hope I have enough. I'm going to cut that a little shorter at 26. Ooh, we got just enough. <laughs> just made it. And this is just the little sequins that you buy at Hobby Lobby. So I'm gonna take these two and I'm just gonna put those in the ties also. Once this is standing up, those will hang forward. Right now, they're just going to keep... Oh, I wanted to do... I wanted the red, too. Hold on. <laughs> I wanted the little rope in there, too. Son of a gun, I forgot. Then 
then over here, we're just gonna add those three on the other side, just like we did over there. And again, those will hang um, okay, so we just made the wreath of the, uh, the bow a little wider. This is in the way. Get out of the way. Alright. Now, oh this is so pretty. Okay. What else? What else do I want to do? So, I'm thinking we can take just little pieces of the jewels because we got it going through the bow. Oh, crap. Come on, cut it. And I might just hang little strips on just little pieces, places. Pieces and places. Uh, I'll, I'll figure out where those are going. I'm just going to get three pieces because I'm almost out. So let's get three of those. All right. And I'm going to take this twine and I'm going to use these hearts. I'm gonna put one right here and go a little longer. And then I'm gonna tie it off. I'm just gonna tie this off. I'm going back to the dollar store and get more of these. I think they're cute. It's like things you would have never looked at before and thought, that would be cute in a wreath. Now I'm like, oh, that would be cute in a bow. That would be cute in this. That would be cute in a fake bake. <laughs> Oh, okay, so I want another one, just a little lower. So I'm gonna tie it off right there, so it'll stay right there. Okay, let's do another one. Ah, oh, it's draining. Uh, if you have trouble getting stuff through, just put tape on the end of it, but I'm gonna get it through. Maybe not. Nope. <laughs> Come on. Or burn it. I don't have a lighter in here. That keeps fraying. Stay together. Nope. You. Idiot. <laughs> I'm calling you. I can't get it. Pull. Pull. One piece refuses to come in. I gotta get some. I'll be right back. Oh. Hold on. Just gonna where is it? Cut it. It's getting shorter and shorter. There. Okay. It didn't leave me much to hang it with. I might have to add something to that. All right, let's go about right there. And
you can add this right to the hanging down. Now I'm gonna tuck this under right through here, but I need longer string because this is too short. So let me just add on to this and tie a knot. Thought it was long enough, but apparently it wasn't. I might have to redo it. Ah, I don't want you to see that knot. <laughs> So I'm just going to tuck this in behind my bow and grab it from underneath. Let's get it to come down the middle. Let's put it underneath that pin. Oh my God, get under the pin. There you go. Let's pull it up. I'm going to pull it right till I can't see that knot. <laughs> there we go. All right, and then I'm just going to tie that off in the back. Kind of hard to tie. I can't see. <laughs> trying to make a knot. All right. Oh, I'm stuck. Let go. Don't snag my shirt. Oh, it snagged it. Oh. So now we got those hanging down. Tuck that heart in. Put those like that. Put an ornament right down in here. Let's fix that. I'm trying to decide where I want the ornament. I'm gonna put one right here on the side of each bow where we put the ribbon. And I'm going to make a four inch one and that's going to go, and I don't have it yet guys, but I'm probably going to make a couple more of these to put um, on the outside. And then I'm going to do a big four inch one and I'm probably going to set that up here. So I'll continue this video. Oh wait, hold on. I forgot these. I want some of these in there. And uh, if I take a picture in the morning and it looks great without it, I'm just going to forget it. But I really want, I'm going to put one right here. I want a four inch one right there. And you could even use one of these in here, but I got my lips right there. My little lip pin. And I do want to do another black heart. I think we need one more black heart. So that's all I'm going to do for it. And, oh, nope, nope, these. I wanted to add these on. So right where the mesh is, I'm trying to figure out. Okay, so I'm going to take thin wire. I'm going to take thin wire. Now, I don't want to, I'm just going to turn this around and show you guys. I don't want to glue these down yet because I think I might put backs on them. Because I really don't want them... Uh, sometimes when you glue stuff down like this, it sticks to the mesh, but then it still might lean forward because it's not exactly tied down and the mesh is holding it. And I don't want it to do that. So... I think I'm going to add some uh, ties to the back of those. So what I'm going to do, because I didn't do it until the last one, is I'll take my pipe cleaner 
Oh. I'll take my pipe cleaner that was on the floor. <laughs> and I'm gonna put it in here and I'm gonna glue that down really good. And then you're gonna take, you're gonna cut out your fabric or um, foam sheets or um, what's the word? <laughs> Oh, what's the, I can't think of it. You know, I can't think of the freaking name. Why well, can't you, even if I'm looking at them, let me look at it. Craft sheet. No. Oh my God, what's it called? I can't, cut felt, your felt. Cut the heart out. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's, I'm tired. Um, so I'll glue that, but mark your holes where they're gonna go. So cut this out and then mark where the holes are gonna go. So you can pull your, glue that, pull your pipe cleaner through the holes of the felt and then glue the felt down to the back, okay? So I think that's what I'm gonna do with this because I, I don't wanna glue these directly on the mesh. I know that they're still gonna lean in that. That's gonna irritate me. And I didn't think of putting the ties on it until the very last one. So, but I want some bling hanging. So, we can do one hanging right here off this big loop. So I'm going to poke this wire right through that um, ribbon loop. Let's make sure I'm not backwards here. And I'm just going to carefully wrap that a couple times. Do one more and I'm using a uh, 26 gauge wire it's thin so it's it hides good let that and then tuck that piece under so when this is standing up this will hang okay right now it's gonna fall into the wreath and we're gonna place three of them so I'm just wrapping it around the little jewels, there's like an indent. Get it nice and tight and twist it. And then decide where you not want the next one. And I think I want the next one. We got one there. I'm thinking somewhere here. So let's do that one. I'm gonna again attach it to, hmm. I'm going to attach it underneath to this ribbon. It's thicker. Poke it through. And then I just keep wrapping it around the... Um, actually, I'm just going to go back through. <laughs> and I'll twist it inside. Come on, pull, pull, pull. Cut that. Bend that piece up so no one pokes their fingers, like me, <laughs> which I probably will anyway. All right, so now that piece is hanging. And we'll do one more. So I have one here, one there, and I'm thinking maybe one right up in here. So let me turn it. Let's twist it. Sure that we're facing forward and I think I want that one hanging right between there oh, oh. oh shoot <laughs> I tried to save it okay. see all that stuff will fall forward 
once this is hanging. Just make sure you're pulling it all out. And uh, I have this piece cut down. I am going to do a four inch piece up at the top, which I just remembered and I forgot. So I'm going to do that. Let me get this in there though. I'm trying to figure out where I want it. I might just attach it right on that part. If I can poke through it, which I'm not sure I can. <laughs> Come on. Poke through. It's not going to poke through. There's glue. It's too stiff. All right. I can't do it there. <laughs> that would have been pretty there. I'm going to try to do it there. So I'm not going to attach this one yet. I'm going to fight with that, but I'm not going to do it right now. I'm going to put it somewhere in here. But um, I do want to put um, a four inch ribbon on top. So I'm just again going to take the four inch ribbon and let's cut it at... Huh. Let's do 14 inches. And then I'm going to take this because I, I already cut it down before for, I was going to do the two loops and I didn't in the bow and I kind of wish I did, but whatever. Let's dovetail. those together. I'm gonna, is there a tie over here? Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna add this one in. So I'm gonna take a pipe cleaner, twist it off. And I'm going to throw that right up in here. Now I'll just glue that down or twist that pipe cleaner around the form. That pipe cleaner is too small, so I'm going to have to add a, a bigger one. Right here. And I might do four inches on the side. Usually if I do a, um, the... If I do a bow with a four inch ribbon on a wreath, I try to put the four inch on the side and on the top. So let me just look. It's hard to see when it's laying down, but I don't want to glue the stuff yet because I want to put the things on it. And I want another black heart over here and a four inch ball up here. Let me see. This will stick up more once I get it in there. We'll just cheat and have a look. Let's just tuck it in over here. Right like that. Oh yeah, we're gonna pop them in on the sides. <laughs> that just made the whole thing pop even more. So let's do on the sides, I'm gonna do like two 13 inches. I'm gonna cut two 13 inches down. I always do the top a little longer because I want that to sh really show on the top. And I, um, when I add the four inch in, uh, I always use, usually cut it an inch bigger than my um, ribbons that went around it. And I am dovetailing these, a dovetailing. <laughs> This is probably one of my favorite wreaths so far. I don't know, this one's gonna be hard to let go. <laughs> I'm in love with it. All right, uh, you could just push this right into the ties. So I'm just gonna open this. We're gonna pull that ribbon out, set it right on top. I 
just setting that ribbon that I had in there on top of the four inch and then we're just scrunch it back up and put it back in. Other side. And if you girls, if your Dollar Tree doesn't have these heart, um, you know, um, things that I bought for my template to use, just let me know and I'll, I'll uh, just trace them and send you um, them traced out or in, or in card stock because I love the shape of those hearts. All right, all my balls keep falling out, but they'll stay in. All right. I'm gonna stop it here. I'm gonna turn it around really quick. I can't lift it up because it'll all fall. And straighten out some of that. But you'll see the picture on the door uh, once I get everything glued down. Uh, but at, tomorrow morning I'll come in and put the backs on these so they lay right. I don't want them perfectly straight like that. want another black one we need a four inch ball so but this is what we have I'll, I'm gonna fix this in the morning Right now, that's not right. All right, girls. I will post this in the morning. Like I said, I, everything's going to stay where it is. If I change anything, I'll let you know. I'll, I'll you know, I'll show you in a video. Um, this I'll secure down. I'm going to uh, go to the store in the morning and pick up four-inch balls. I'm going to decorate the four-inch ball just like we did these ones. So I'm going to put a four-inch one right here. And I want another black heart to shove. Well, if I have this here, we'll just switch the red on top because I don't want black across from black. So I'll just put red up here and then the other black heart kitty, you know, diagonal. Um, but that's it. I am in love. Isn't it gorgeous? Can you see it all? It's so pretty. Oh, I can't wait to see it hanging up. All right, I, I got one of these left. I didn't put it anywhere. And I'm gonna go pick up more of these because I love that down in the bow. Let me shut my glue gun off. Yay, Saturday's tutorial's done. All right, ladies, I love you all. I hope you all have a safe, blessed day, night, life. And I will see you when I see you. Bye.